who, who came with the idea to stop the miniskirt thing? Women must wear whatever they want. It's the men who must control themselves. Why should you lock up a person for wearing what he feels like wearing? So I think the girls have the right to, 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 to wear whatever they want. Just because they are, we they are wearing skirts doesn't mean someone's going to get crazy and try to rape them. I, I mean, people are what they are. A skirt won't change anything. <laughs> Question on many, many people's lips, should the government be able to tell you what to wear and if you allow them to do that, what can they tell you to do or not do next? passion killings the past few months in Namibia um, so the time is definitely ripe for us to come out and say look we've been oppressed by the people that are supposed to love us being the husbands or the boyfriends and just men in general I think it's ridiculous for anybody to want to infringe on anybody's human rights this is our, this is our constitutional right to wear what we want and secondly um, one of the bigger reasons also is that they're actually saying that wearing a mini skirt is an excuse for rape and that is ridiculous so that's why I'm here it violates Article 21 1A, which says that everyone has got the freedom of expression and speech. Expression cannot only be through writing and uh, verbal, but the way we dress is also the way we express ourselves. It may also be challenged on the basis of the right to dignity. You know, the moment you start to go around, around harassing people and telling them how they should wear and what should they, they should not wear, you are actually violating Article 8 of the Constitution, which deals with the right to dignity. The fact is that violence against women in this country is something that is deep-rooted, and it's something that is a, men a mental issue, not a physical on how we dress and how we appear. So that's why I'm saying that, you know, we're not teaching the right values to our people and our community. focus on as opposed to the way we're dressing so I feel that there's so many other issues and this is like the least of our worries right now they must arrest the men who is the rapist and not blame it to the woman who has been wearing the miniskirt because, because if they say it's the miniskirt my brothers and sisters I'm telling you that the blame is shifted to the dress and not to the issue of raping and disempowering our women. We've got the organizer of today's flash mob on the dial in front of me. Why, why, why did you do this? Um, I don't think I did it. I think Vintuk did it. Um, but I think we should stand up for old traditions that really don't have a place in our society anymore and all the women in rural areas who don't have a voice. That was actually my point from the beginning. The fact that there is no excuse for rape. Um, the horrors are just, it's so immense in this country and we need to address it. And if the miniskirt's the hook to do it, then we do it that way. I think that for quite some time, the women in Namib of Namibia have been oppressed, but it wasn't overt. And I think that this has really brought, like, brought things to the fore and has you know, made it a dialogue. And in that sense, I think it's a good thing. But yeah, it is something that I feel very strongly about. Once they are arrested, the person who has arrested them has violated the Constitution. I think they have the right to take whoever arrested them to court. This is not about the miniskirt. This is about the fact that there is no excuse to rape a woman. No excuse. No matter what she wears, no matter if she's sober or not, you have no right to touch a woman if she has no 